Hello and thank you for joining me for this episode of Epic Surf News. I picked off some of these waves today. It was one to three foot. There was a couple of gems in the mix, but uh, it was kind of hard to find them and it took a little while for them to come in. Uh, a little bit lowly. So I made the best of the surfing conditions and just kind of chalked it up to going up to use surf to try to sell the surfboard. Okay, I'm gonna take the surfboard to usurf.com and uh, try to get them to sell it for me. Uh, hoping to get two and a quarter. Maybe 250 if I'm feeling good, feeling lucky. Uh, this board, it was a good board. It uh, was designed to kind of surf smaller, bigger, fatty waves at like San Onofre, um, but it did the job. I mean, it, it did, it caught waves. Uh, it was a little hard to turn when the waves got better. So uh, I ended up getting another board that actually fit the bill better for small days and uh, so this one we're gonna sell. But it's a good, great condition, looks good. Hopefully get two quarter 250, let's see. So I got 69.25 out of a board that was sold for 100 bucks. Uh, I was surprised that board could even sell. So any money is welcome. So they make it that easy. They send you a text. Uh, you come by, pick up the check. It takes like two minutes. Uh, it's so much easier than Craigslist. Nobody trying to barter an end table for a surfboard or anything weird like that. So uh, I definitely recommend usurf.com. And uh, the guys over there are super fast, super easy to work with, and they get you pretty much fair price and without all the drama. In terms of news, uh, I want to go ahead and catch up from the weekend. Uh, there was another loss in the surfing community of Oscar Moncada. He is uh, known as a big wave surfer. I don't know him personally, but uh, saw a post from a variety of sources, including Skin Dog Collins, uh, with this picture here. So we just want to go ahead and send out our condolences again to friends and family on Oscar and that loss there. Outside of that, I picked up on a post from Reef this weekend and it was of some cool surf art that's on a wall in Hawaii. So go ahead and check this out for a sec. As you know, I'm always trying to incorporate some art and different aspects of surfer lifestyle into our posts and our news videos. In addition, I wanted to give you a heads up. I've been posting some Trestles highlight videos from the 2017 Hurley Pro. So go ahead and browse around Epic Surf News on YouTube and check those out. This year, 2018, there won't be a Hurley Pro at Trestles. So you might want to go ahead and reminisce and see what it was like and then get ready to compare what you saw at Trestles maybe over this year to the 2018 Surf Ranch event. And want to give everybody a heads up, you know, we're also on Facebook, if that's your thing, that's ProSurfBlog.com, which will take you right to our Facebook page. You can also find us on Instagram under the handle of ProSurfBlog. That's kind of a mix of different posts about surfing, uh, not always the same stuff that you're seeing on our Facebook or our YouTube. So if you want to mix it up and Instagram's your thing, go and link up with us there. Of course, Epic Surf News on YouTube is where we like to send everybody. That's where we're kind of putting out our uh, bigger productions. And it also helps to subsidize these Epic Surf News editions that you're seeing here. Thanks a lot everybody and hope to see you in the water soon.